Actually, I'm tired of giving thrillers of my life in pieces, trying hard, hoping people understand without understanding. I'm like the sun. While I try to control my past, but like fingers in the lock at each other, my rays screams out and makes beautiful those I come in contact with. Check your life, you'll see. But like Tafiti, my heart was once stolen from me. Please follow me, I'm trying to be simple. You may need your life jacket at some point because the current is getting high and there's a lot more from where this came from. See, so many times I had dug my tits into the forbidden fruits, ready to take the huge bite. When my ear rings, Adam, where are you? But oh, I enjoyed the sweetness of the juice that goes in through my teeth, to my tongue, and the very depths of my soul. The sensation that literally flows through my body, and the flex of Cobans on the keys, his hand, which is the very point that brought me out of my womb. But I didn't want to say I was naked, just as my father did. So peacefully. My Eve slept next to me, a little disappointed I didn't take the fruits out of the stalk. While I, Adam, wrapped in my modern leaf, blamed the man he gave me. So you see, slowly I was chased out of his presence by my very guilt, literally on fire. He touched me. In the wrong places said my mind, but the right said my flesh. Let's get it. It was never really my thing. I just fake noises I hope sounded opera and relieve those short clips I saw while supposedly trying to skip the scene of two clapping bodies on TV. I know you've done that. Don't get it wrong. I went to church. I literally sat down front row like it was in the concert, projecting the wall people read on the screen and on me. But no one saw me. All they saw was the tears I faked when I prayed, so they called me spiritual. And yeah, I played the part well because, like you, I was a church girl and a leader. So I created a model they needed to see when I left. But one too many times, I got lost. I got lost under the shower, living Hollywood romance. I got lost in our exchange of saliva. I failed to realize we never exchanged words. I got lost in a surprise visit that left my skirt on the floor and I in shame. I got lost in the movement of his dexterous hands. I failed to realize he had drawn a curtain between I and my twelve. See, I got lost in the sweet talks as he lies next to me. I failed to realize no one knew I was his because I was just a replacement for his Vaseline or just another me. I defined sex without penetration for fear. But well, was it for fear of the pain, or was it for the fear of the entry of the wrong seed that gave fruit? Or was it because virginity stared me in the face, half scarred, pleading I please left a half buttered self, so I held on to one more thing that held on to me, virginity, technically. But like Paul, a bright light I saw on that empty road that is well defined by the neglect of our leaders past and present. I saw his beauty and he asked me out. He said, Rebecca, would you follow me to Isaac? He awaits and his palm bleeds. See, my eyes literally saw the water that flowed through his sight through my eyes and I, like Mary, saw my savior heart to heart and I broke my alabaster box of sin at his feet. I'm tired of telling fairy tales. See, I'm telling my personal tale that in one day, in one school break, in one split second, God showed me he loves me no wrong. Love showed me he is God to me. That he and he don't meet. That he was just lost in the perversion of my framework. Love took me back to the beginning in Eden. And I was naked in him once again, but this time I wasn't ashamed because he now lived in me. He made me a jewel. And every day I passed through his fire. But one day, love picked me up and took me to the other side of Eden. And he showed me my Adam. And he screamed, this is the flesh of my flesh. 
and the bones of my bones, and I felt peace and genuine love when he touched me. You know, you know. November, but it was not just the peace he wanted me to do, so I thought about it. You see, a lot of us Christians are struggling. I'm tired of talking about those outside. I'm, trying, I'm tired of trying to drag in sinners because we Christians are going through a lot more difficulty then sinners, so can I have your attention, please? So I decided why not tell people my story so they could see that like me, he could touch them too. So, um, it's, he touched me. 